That is the ninth strikeout for Flexen. That is a season high. Now the center fielder, Max White, 0 for 2. And the pitch is in there for a strike. Nothing in one. See if Mundell stays in the game as part of a double switch. I doubt it, but you never know. Max White looking for his first hit. There's a pitch low. One and one the count on the Art Goat center fielder. Hartford trailing five to one here in the last of the sixth. Brendan Rogers on deck, hoping to get a chance to bat. Now time is called. He's backing off the rubber is Flexen. Now Flexen with a one-one pitch. Curve is outside. Two balls, one strike to count. Flexen retired the first 13 yard goats until Jan Vasquez ended his perfect game with a home run into the upper deck and right center. Now the 2 1 pitch is outside. Three balls, one strike to count. The 3-1 delivery. Swing and a miss. Strike two, three and two. Reading leads Harrisburg six to one. They're in the last of the seventh inning as we check that out-of-town scoreboard presented by Budweiser. Trenton all over Richmond eight to one. They're in the top of the seventh. At Auburn Hammer Park. Now the deal. Swung on and lifted foul down the left field line. Out of play. Bowie defeated Altoona earlier today, 9-3. to Now goes to go to Bowie on their next road trip. Three games in Bowie and three in Binghamton. The Rams are pounding Portland 9-1. to They're in the last of the seventh inning in Portland. Payoff pitch, foul back. Count remains at 3-2. and two. I'm just guessing here, but with Flexen just having come off the disabled list for the second time this year, and his pitch count now at 82, this could very well be his last inning. And he has acquitted himself quite well. He will have gone, by the way, five consecutive starts without a walk unless he walks White. Here's the pitch. In there, strike three called. White does not like the call from Mike Sabatinas, but that's the tenth strikeout for Flexen. And the Goats go in order. We head to the seventh with a score. Binghamton 5, Hartford 1.